This is the honest sauce intro song. I won't take too long because it's spicy, yeah. Oh, so spicy, yeah. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Honest Sauce and Spicy Stuff Reviews. And today is the second part of the High Desert Sauce series. I'll probably release these on the same day, maybe, or maybe I'll split them. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we're going to go ahead and finish it up with the masala and the piri piri. And um, I will say the last, the rojo was pretty warm and the verde was pretty warm too. So I'm expecting these to be uh, pretty intense. So uh, before we get into these, uh, make sure, as always, that you're going to give me a like, a subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you could go check out the Facebook page, that would be cool, too. As well as if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, please put those down below. I have been getting recommendations, and I am getting some stuff to try. And, yeah, you'll get props for that, the people that recommended it. I appreciate it. Um, I'm getting low on sauce, so I'm always... I'm, waiting for more to come um and yeah and like i said in the last video i'm going to be planning on doing some more cooking videos in the future too all right so let's go ahead and get into this we're going to be doing the masala first because that one looks like it's probably not as hot let's go ahead and read the label and everything on the side it says heat rating becoming painful at this juncture, you should really start to question your decisions. We have taken a fairly hot sauce and made it even hotter. With double the ghost pepper and more than three times the Carolina Reaper, this sauce is sure to light you up. Keeping in tune with our flavored forward philosophy, we increase the spice blend. Really, we just did this so it not only smells delicious, but it tastes good before assaulting your palate. Tread lightly and enjoy. And I just noticed on the front, it says, proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. You have been warned. Proceed with caution. Consider yourself warned. All right. Uh, let's get into the ingredients. We got peppers, which consist of ghost, Carolina Reaper, and Anaheim. Coconut milk, tomato, vinegar, onion, tomato paste, cider vinegar, salt, garlic, ginger, peppercorns, cumin seeds, garam masala, um, and then turmeric and coriander. All right, uh, let's go ahead and break this open. I mean, I see like some spices in there. I can't really tell like how, f wait, is that a bubble right there? Ooh, that looks pretty thick. There's the bubble. See how thick that looks? That's a pretty thick looking sauce. I like the color of it too, so. Got a little suction thing on the top there, a little suction action. Pop that off. Let's give this a pour. I have no idea how hot this stuff is either, so. Whoa, that's pretty thick though. Very creamy looking too. Creamy yet pulpy at the same time. I think the coconut milk is making it look really creamy like that. Just super nice looking. All right, let's do it. I mean, it smells like Indian food. Like garam masala. Garam masala? Garam masala? Garam masala? I think it's garam masala. Yeah, very, very uh, spice forward. I don't really smell coconut, but you get like the vinegars and stuff. Yeah, so this is HDSC Black Label Masala. Cheers, everybody. Mm. It's a flavor bomb. Spiky, stingy heat coming up, especially in the back of my tongue and my throat. Got some seedage. Very nice spice level. It's not like too overbearing with the spice. You get some of the pepper flavor coming through and the other ingredients, so it's not like like gonna blow your palate out with like a ton of spice because i've had some sauces in the past where it was like like it's just too much like that's too much spice might as well just be cur like 
it's like curry on steroids. I've had sauces like that. This is nice, so it's burning pretty good. Yeah, it's got me under the tongue a little bit. And the back of the tongue, mostly. I like this. Very limited in what I would use it on. You know, like Indian food. I would add it to salad dressings, maybe. Maybe make an aioli with it. You know, and I might go ahead and do like kebabs and maybe brush it on kebabs, too. Or use it as a component in a yogurt sauce or something like that. But because of the strong uh, Middle Eastern spice thing going on, I'm going to have to kind of like say it's probably not my favorite it's good but it's probably not my favorite of the four because it's kind of limited in what i can do with it and it's still burning pretty good right now getting a little shininess going um this is definitely hotter than the rojo and the verde from the other day um this is this is definitely a step up. So, if those are really, if you think those are hot, if you've had those, then and you haven't tried this yet, just be forewarned that this is another level of heat. It's gone up. Now I'm gonna have to like let this burn subside before I can like taste the next one. So this burn is like hanging out for a good minute, man. Like, yeah, you know, my lips are starting to burn a little bit. Like that's some that's some uh, really hot stuff. So. Um, take it easy with that if you're if you're not really up to to speed with some hot sauce, some hot hot stuff. Make sure you're taking it easy with this, and it's just kind of lingering. It's not even going away. It's just kind of lingering there. The heat, man, that that heat lasted a while. Yeah, no joke. Becoming painful. I can see how they say that. All right, let's move on to the the hottest one. All right, um, last one is the Piri Piri. How about Piri Piri? Piri Piri? Piri Piri? I'm not sure. Uh, the side says, heat rating painful. Why have you chosen to do this to yourself? New to HDSC family, this sauce is pretty much all peppers. African bird's eye, ghost peppers, maruga scorpions are combined with olive oil, lemon juice, and spices, and a world of anger I want to take out on your taste buds. It's wicked hot. Uniquely flavorful and meant to ruin your day. Tread at your own risk and enjoy. I don't want it to ruin my day. You know? I don't. So, uh, let's look at the ingredients. We have peppers, which consist of African bird's eye, ghost, and maruga scorpions. Vinegar, water, garlic, olive oil, salt, lemon juice, smoked paprika, basil, and cilantro. Alright, so let's go ahead and break this open and see what we're dealing with. bubble in here at all there's the bubble so other sauces are relatively thick right i mean this one's got chunks of pepper seeds and stuff in it though i mean it's a nice bricky color let's open it these are always on the top so you know that they've been uh, packaged because they're kind of vacuum packed you can see the little suction on the seal there I don't, I'm scared of this a little bit, so, because I'm not sure how much sauce is in it, how, much, how hot it's going to be. Or, are they talking to somebody who doesn't eat hot sauce? I don't know. But it's packed full of pepper seeds. You can see the seeds in there, so nice rusty brown color. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, the smoked paprika. Very deep, like, intense smell. Oh, wow. It's like, it smells really complex, but it doesn't really have a whole lot of, like, spices going on, really. I mean, there's garlic, the vinegar, lemon juice, paprika, basil, and cilantro. The, just very deep, intense smell. Yeah, so I'm a little worried about this. I have a feeling... Um, this is going to be a lot hotter <laughs> than the other one. So, 
I guess there's nothing to do but just do it. It's the last one of the of this uh, set. So this is High Desert Sauce Company Piri Piri Black Label. Everybody, cheers. That was deep, intense flavor. Very like seedy though. I'm waiting for it. I'm not. Did the other one just blow me out? Because this isn't really like kicking my butt like I thought it was going to. I mean, the flavor is great. It's really deep. Gets some smokiness, kind of like tomatoey almost in flavor. And it very much like a Southwestern vibe going on. But I'm not getting blown out by that. Okay, I, it's supposed to be hotter. I mean, it's starting to warm up, but I was expecting like a lot of sting from the scorpion and some really heavy coal, coal burn feeling from the, the ghost. Or is that what's in here? Reaper? No, ghost and Maruga scorpion. I mean, a little stingy and it's warming up, but it's not, it's not blowing me out. So, just in case, because now I'm confused. It was very good flavor though. Just gonna do a little more. Very good flavor. What would I use it on? Definitely like Southwestern Mexican food, tacos, burritos, add it some chili would be good. Definitely on some mac and cheese. Probably be okay on pizza. Um, this would be great addition to a barbecue sauce if you're making a barbecue sauce or if you wanna add it to some salsa for a little like nice kick up of some salsa would be good. And it'd be great in marinades too, making like the whole gamut of other sauces aiolis dressings all kinds of stuff this would be great in that i bet you it would probably be good if you made some spicy ketchup and added this to it too and as far as the burn goes i mean my my tongue is a little stingy uh it's a little warm in the back i'm wondering if the the masala just blew me out like blew my blew my receptors out or something because this to me is pretty comparable as far as heat goes it's a little bit of a lingering thing it's still just there it's not going away but uh, it's it's not for me this isn't as is as this isn't hotter than this one it's just not but it's very delicious i'm very happy I'm very happy that I purchased this set. I'm very happy High Desert Sauce is staying around. I'm going to have to start trying some of their other stuff too. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, if you ever get a chance to try their Black Label stuff, especially if you like something hot, hotter than what normally they would be, I recommend grabbing this the next time they do it. It'll probably be next year sometime. Just keep an eye out on their website and sign up for their newsletter and stuff. And they'll, they'll let you know. That's how I found out. So good sauces and now it's time for me to tell you to love yourself and take care of yourself and push that out to everyone and everywhere around you all right everybody we kind of need it right now make sure you're trying spicy stuff trying new hot sauces and maybe trying something a little hotter than you're used to all right until next time everybody take care love you peace this is the honest sauce intro song I won't take too long because it's spicy yeah oh so spicy yeah peppers which can serve can uh, peppers which can sit <laughs>